Now let's talk about arrays. Arrays in Perl are marked with an at mark. So you declare it with the same in the same way as you're declaring uh, scalar variables. My at and the name of the variable. The rules are the same for the name of the variable, except that it starts with the uh, at mark. By the way, these uh, marks at the beginning, the dollar and the at mark, and then later we have a couple of more, these are called sigils. So on the left hand side we have the, the name of the array, and on the right hand side we have uh, a list of values. And uh, if you are wondering what's the difference between a list and an array, well it's the basically the same difference as between the uh, scalar value, like 42, and a scalar variable, that ver where you can put in uh, the scalar value. So list is the literal values, uh, is, a, is a literal values, so in inside you can actually have also variables, but uh, you can't change a list. And uh, an array is something that holds a couple of values, zero or more. Anyway, so this is the way we assign values to this array. You can print them out uh, using uh, just print, and you put in uh, double quotes the array. So as you can see, arrays are interpolating the same way as uh, scalars do, if you put them in double quotes. And then the output will be blue space, yellow space, brown space, so you can you get the values of the array with the space in between. The other way to easily print them out is uh, taking the for each loop that we saw earlier. And here, instead of putting a list of values, we put here in the parentheses, we put here the uh, name of the array, at colors, and what happens is uh, Perl will go over all the elements of this array, and for each element it will take the element, put in this variable, and then execute the block. So it will print out the four colors one after the other with new line this time, because that's how we print it out. Now just uh, to make it clear, that you see this is colors, it's, and it has an S, this is color, so these are not the same uh, names. And in general you can think about it, well, yes, colors, an array is something that has multiple values, so it's like plural in uh, English, and uh, a scalar is uh, something that has a singular value, so that's why I call it a uh, color. It usually fits.